Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, we're going to talk about if statements. We are on lesson six of our PHP series. And in this video, we're going to talk about if, else if, and else statements. If statements are very powerful in developing and you can do a lot with if, else if, and else statements. So in this video, I wanna show you how to use those and how to use those to your advantage in writing code. Let's get started. On our, um, from the last lesson, lesson five, talking about JSON and we're continuing this, we've created a variable called names and it's an array. It's a type of variable called an array. And we put in these names and then on the last video, we cr converted those to JSON so that we could hand those off to different languages and different websites and stuff like that. It's a, a JSON is a format that we can use across multiple sites and across different languages. What we're talking about today is the if, else, and else if statements. And we did some of that a little bit in lesson four when we were talking about just the arrays. So we are going to go back to where we were just talking about our function here and come to our page and do a refresh. All right, so now we have our array printed out and we passed it into this function. If you didn't watch lesson four, go back and watch that. But here we've used an if statement for the year, right? We said, um, is it not going back to my page? Here we go. So Josh is 43 years old. Michael is one year old. We left off the S off of years because one year old is, is proper. So quit going there. Okay. So in a if else statement, let's break it out a little bit and so we can see what's going on here. I like to I like to optimize the code a little bit, but I like to see what's going on. So we said, if the age is equal to one, year name is equal to year. Else, year name is equal to years. And basically what that is, is we're saying the name, whether it's Josh, Michael, Tom, whatever, is seven, 12, whatever the age is, year name old. So year old or years old, right? Now, we could say else if, spell it right, else if dollar sign value is equal to, and let's go to here and see we've got 54. All right. I'm going to fix this. There we go. Okay. So if else if the value age is equal to 54, we're gonna say year name is equal to, wow, he is old. <laughs> and, which is not gonna be proper, but we're just using it for an example, right? So now we come back here and we refresh, and now it says Josh is 43 years old, Michael is one year old, Tom is 54, wow, he is old, old. <laughs> so we're just using an example, but what we could do is we could say, okay, well, if if the age is 54, well, we need to kill this page and not let them go any farther. He is too old to be here, right? So we've said, Josh is 43 years old, Michael is one year old, and wait, this next guy is 54? Cut it, he's not allowed here, all right? So we said die. So we're gonna say year name is equal to years. Let's do years, let's do capital. That way we can leave, at least make some kind of difference because really it doesn't make any difference. It doesn't make any sense to say, you know, age is equal to 54, say years, just like we did here. We're saying if age is equal to one, the name of year is year, else years. 
if age is equal to 54, we need to do something. There needs to be a reason why we say else if, right? But that's a good thing if we want to say 54 or, you know, hey, 50, we can say congratulations, congrats, you are old, right? <laughs> but Oh, I said 50, 54. All right, so, you know, 43, one year old, congrats, you are old. So the if, else if statements can get very, very powerful if, if you need to do some stuff with them. So 22 years old, let's do else if, dollar sign value, age is equal to 22. We can say your name is equal to wow, you are young, right? Wow, you are young. So there's a there's different things, and you can continue doing else if else if you know. Um, to write, to make your code work the way you need to. Now, if you've gotten into code and you're like 15 or 20 else if statements down, it's probably not the best approach for an is, if else if statement. I would figure out a way to write it differently than having that many is, if else if statements in there. Um, but this is kind of the basics of if and else if and then else statements. So if none of these values are equal to the age, it's going to run this last one. And there's um, different ways you can do that. You can say uh, else if age is greater than or equal to 54 and dollar sign value age is less than or equal to 60, right? So that way it still works the same. If we come in here and we say age is greater than 50 and age is less than 60, then anyone between 50 and 60 years old, congrats, you are old. Um, we can even just use less than or equals here I mean, less than or greater than. So anybody between the age of 50 and 60, it's going to say, you know, it's going to return that. We can also say, or here, if age is equal to 50 or 54, right? We can be very, very specific. And it's gonna return the same thing. So if age is equal to 50 or age is equal to 54, congrats, you are old. Or we can say, if we say something like 55, it's going to default to Tom is 54 years old. It's gonna go down here to the else statement and say, you know, it doesn't equal 50 and it doesn't equal 55. It doesn't equal one and it doesn't equal 22 else it's going to run this command here to tell it to just say years, right? All right, so if we say greater than equal to 50 or age is equal to 55, then we're going to, it's gonna return congrats, you're old because 54 is greater than or equal to 50 or it's equal to 55, right? So those, that, those operators there are very, very important. And we really haven't talked about those yet. Um, and we will talk about those more, but this is, and is two and signs and or is two pipes. I can expand on this later on and we will, as we get into more uh, code development, we'll use if, else if, and else statements throughout the code. And it can be very, very powerful in things that we do. So I hope you like this video, uh, share it with someone if you think they will like it or can benefit from it too. Remember to subscribe, click the bell for notifications, 
comment if I missed anything or anything that you need me to expand on, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks. If, else if, and elf, elf. <laughs> it's almost Christmas time. Not elves, elfs. <laughs> oh, God. All right, not, <laughs> man, I, whew. What? <laughs>